Welcome to The Bowling Point. I am Richie Ware. This is John Biscuit, president of Victory Energy. We're actually on location. And I thought, John, we'd talk about your CNC machine. Very impressive. Um, obviously, we've got a steam drum here, and right now they're actually drilling a hole. So pretty awesome. Tell Very me a little cool. bit about it. So this CNC machine is designed to drill all of our holes for our water team steam drums and for our lower, uh, lower mud drums. And the nice thing about it, it's a vertical boring mill. It's very quick, very precise. And like in this particular example, this is about a 50 foot long steam drum. And the idea behind this is, is that off of a simple uh, AutoCAD drawing, we can locate the holes on a specific axis and we can drill all these holes very quickly. So as an example, a dr drum like this normally would have taken, you know, 30 days to, to drill a drum and we're gonna do it in about one shift. But the accuracy of the holes really, for the customer, improves the uh, the tube to uh, to drum drum mechanical joint, mm -hmm. and we're able to pass hydro tests on the first time and provide just honestly a better pressure vessel. Now we were talking uh, with Orrin a little bit about the ring that's inside yeah. the tube sheet. I mean, is that something you can do with this as well? Uh, absolutely. Assuming, yeah. yeah, this machine. Uh, it's a great question. This particular machine can not only does it drill the hole, but it can do the ring groove within the same process. Mm. And we use that ring groove, probably similar to what Orrin had said, is to ensure a secondary seat mm -hmm. uh, for that tube to the steam drum. And it just, again, helps with the integrity of the joint. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You were talking about uh, earlier, we were talking about just how you used to do this. And you, you literally were on top with a, a drill press. Like a drill press, press that's right. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you know, back to the, to the maybe 40 or 50 years ago, the way, yeah. the way they used to do it was with a radial arm drill. And uh -huh. you know, just like you said, it's almost like a drill press. You'd center the hole and drill the hole. And you know, the problem with that, although that process works, it's not as accurate as a CNC machine, meaning sure. that that drill bit could move on a radial arm where this particular machine is very precise, very accurate. Yeah. And uh, again, it's just a better joint and a lot quicker. Which is really important because when you're doing steam drum and a mud drum, you've got to get things to fit up for the tube. You, you do. And, and you know, with the accuracy of the way the holes are drilled, uh -huh. when you're tubing the boiler, that's all the difference in the world, is assuring that that hole matches up to the, from the steam drum to the lower drum. And that tube, when they, when they stab that tube, it's going to be completely vertical okay. and that there's no misalignment. Yeah. Really cool machine. Uh, maybe you've wondered how in the world are they drilling uh, drums at the boiler manufacturers and how long it might take, but uh, just some really good information. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.